No! Hey! I, I, I've, I've never killed anyone. I'm not leaving you behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. They had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Michonne, what is it? Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. Not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. I just needed some space. Uh, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, freezing my ass off. Here. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. One. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Hey, City! Did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no, Berto, no. <laughs> it was a mutiny. <laughs> Berto, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> Damn, man. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mole, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit, isn't it? They're growing on me, too. Kind of nice that people can still joke around. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then... A young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. I would have gone in alone. If I had another chance. I wouldn't have gone in at all. After my brother... A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. 
I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. Yeah. Deal me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Are you sure you want to do this? I need to see him. I need to see that bastard's face. <laughs> Oh, God. He's dead. I should have stopped you. How could you do this? That man was tied up. Defenseless. I'm sorry, Pete. I... I couldn't control myself. I can see that. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now... I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. You already killed Zachary for what he did to Greg. Do you really want to keep going down this road? That's for me to decide. Uh! Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean... He ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. You better fucking pick up this time. Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. Calm the fuck down. You should change your fucking tone. About time you answered. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has changed. Michelle needs Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe me anything, but please, we have to get them back. That's my deal, Michonne. Stop worrying. I didn't touch him. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Coming here for her brother. When she sees what we did to him. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. Let's just hope she doesn't take it out on my guys. Norma wants her brother. This better work. It will, I think. It's risky. Even if it does work, then what?
Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? In my work. We just have to be quick. The minute your guys are inside, we're out of here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, come back here. Sam! Sam, what the hell are you doing? God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just going to leave him like this. We couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I... I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. I understand. He should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking... My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg. If you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. So what happens when Norma comes? We fight with everything we have. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. Hey. I, I was just... wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Careful. You don't want to shoot yourself. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? 
You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. That didn't save him. The guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said. Randall is dead, James. I killed him. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. Your sister will be with me. I'll make sure she's safe. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Take this to your sister. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Wish it didn't always come to this. Is that music? You doing okay in here? I bet that was scary before when I brought your sister in like that. But she's okay now. Nothing can hurt me in here. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. I'll tell you a secret. They scare me too sometimes. Really? But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Your dad's not coming. He's dead. What? He got shot outside. No! I don't believe you! I want to see him. Please. <laughs> Did my dad be become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? No. He was shot in the head. When someone dies, you put a bullet or something sharp right here. <laughs> and then they don't turn. Okay? It's not fair. Alex, you need to be strong, okay? I can't. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening.
John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain. I love you more than anything. Sophie. They look really happy together. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. Sam wants to defend the house. She wants to fight. You're kidding. Norma's got more people, more guns. There's no way we'd win in that fight. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway. Same as you. That's one thing we got in common. This is your home. This place was never mine. They let me hang around, play make-believe. I left my real life a long time ago. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready... I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. You can't leave James and Alex. They've lost enough today. I know. I know. I'm not trying to hurt them. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but... I don't know if I can do the same for them. Here. how fucking stupid I was. I get so focused on finding people. I wasn't putting the crew first. I didn't insist on looking. It wasn't stupid. You cared about finding your friends. There's nothing wrong with that. You think after all this time, after everything we've had to do to survive, people would want to help each other. But no. They're just guarding what's theirs and taking out whoever gets in their way. I don't know why I even bother trying to help anymore. Doesn't, doesn't seem worth it. Maybe I was just fooling myself. I wanted to think there were people worth helping. Careful, Pete. You're starting to sound like me. We just... We have to get my crew back. Hopefully my boat is still in one piece. Shit. What the hell are we gonna do? What happens after we hand him over? If she takes that bag off... We're gonna have to fight. I trust you. Here, Pete. Thanks. Oh. 
Michonne, I'm uh, looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. Alex asked about his father, so I told him what happened. Oh, shit. I, uh, I should check on him then. You'll find him in his fortress. I'll meet you outside. Sam, you okay? Greg and Dad, I just, I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? Maybe you don't need to say anything. It's okay to just be here together. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. I'm just worried about the crew. If Norma hurt them. They'll be okay. We'll get them back. You know I envy them a little. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. Whatever normal is, it doesn't exist anymore. No matter how much you want it to. Hey, I decided to stay. For the kids. Don't get cocky. It had nothing to do with what you said. Uh-huh. Miss Joan? She's here! <sighs> I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? Is she gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. Are you sure? Not really. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside.
It's quiet out there. You ready for this? Anything goes wrong out there, I got your back. Right. This isn't gonna stay peaceful for long. Be ready to fight when I tell you. You got it. It's just me. What the hell is going on here? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. What's your game? No game. I just want to talk. Okay. Start talking. Hey, that is what I'm doing. I didn't come here to fight. Listen. Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like... everything I built. You and I... we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. That's all. And I'll leave you be. He's right here. <laughs> Randall! You okay? <clears throat> Just hang on. I gotcha. One good turn. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, give me Randall and we can go our separate ways. You can't let her walk away. They burned our homes, murdered Zachary. I know what we've lost, but we'll lose a lot more if we don't end this. Now be quiet. Michonne, please. I just want my brother. Let's be done with this. Deal? I want Pete's crew first. Then I'll give you Randall. Careful you don't take advantage now. Release that one. This is bullshit! I'm glad you're safe, man. I made good on my end. Now it's your turn. Give me Randall. Oak! Hey! Put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have one more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're gonna insist on being difficult... Don't hurt him, all right? <coughs> here. Take him. Who gives a shit about Randall? Jonas, don't! If you're not gonna punish them for what they've done, I will! We deserve retribution! Not like this! This is for Zachary! No! <laughs> Berto! Everyone put your guns uh, down! I knew we couldn't trust them! Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him! If you're not gonna do anything, we have to! That's not your call! They shot her! Ugh. Jonas! Fuck! No. Oh, run! Kill him! Get to the house! Now! No! Go! Go! So now! Get that gate open! Hurry! Stop her!
burn the whole fucking house down! <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 
keep happening? What's going on? I know you're not real. None of this is. But I keep seeing you everywhere. I don't know how to make it stop. Just tell me what you want. Michelle, it's Dominic. What's Where the hell are you? Go pack your things, okay? We have to go. Where's mommy? We tried to wait. We're, we're, we're heading to Dominic. Dad! She'll be fine. Come on. No, she'll come look for us. We have to be here. Michonne, if you're still... Just stay safe, okay? They need you. Did you... Did you get out? Did you make it? I need to know. I have to go. Why? My work. I... Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama. Stay here. With us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please. Just let me say goodbye. Come on, Alex! What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! It's too late. Girls, listen to me. I have to go. I, I just have to go.
Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. We can drop you off in Oceanside or maybe one of the other communities up north. It's good people. Thanks. And thank you for everything. I don't know if we would have made it out of there without you. You found my brothers. You took care of Norma. We owe you a lot. You're welcome. It'll be harder out there, with Alberto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not gonna be the same without him. Are you gonna be okay, Pete? Yeah. Don't worry about me. Yeah, I guess that's a bit hypocritical of me, huh? I wanted to ask. When we got separated, I... Heard you calling for your daughters. What, what happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and... I almost didn't make it out. The place was burning to the ground and... I couldn't find anyone. I was just... disoriented. You're not telling me everything. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I was able to walk away. I couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. I'll go back eventually, when I'm ready. Just don't take too long. Come on.